promotion and demotion it's about sentences different constituent of the sentences syntactic variation involves simply reordering of the element of a sentence for example making active into a uh, passive from active we reorder the constituent or a different element of the sentence making uh, interrogative from the statement declarative sentence we reorder the ele elements so syntactic changes can have much more effect or can have radical results in this way when we reorder the constituents or elements so let's discuss the idea of promotion and demotion processes making a word or phrase more prominent or less prominent in the sentence so making it uh, an element prom uh, prominent is promotion and making an element less prominent is demotion the demotion processes make part of the sentence less prominent so this is the example of indonesian sentence ali manga krim surat itu kepada hasan so if we have a word for word translation of this sentence we find ali sent letter the to hasan so the difference between the two languages is that in indonesian language the article comes after the noun whereas in english it's different so we have the the regular translation of this sentence in english ali sent the letter to hasan so as we know that in in a sentence in which we have direct and indirect object generally the indirect object comes first and direct object comes later and if direct object comes later then it is always with some preposition to or for in this case you can see that the the indirect object hasan is delayed right so it is with preposition to but if the order is changed we bring the indirect object first right so you see ali manga karima khan hasan surat itu so here we see one thing that when we brought the indirect object to the place of the direct object at in english there was no change whereas in indonesian language kan uh, was added in 1b we find that an ending kan on the word for send was added whereas we don't find the same in english the verb remains the same whether it's a uh, direct object closer or indirect object closer so hasan can be promoted to an even higher position in the following hasan was sent so gap shows that from where this uh, this word was promoted to the higher place the letter by ali so hasan was sent uh, the letter by ali so we can see that it has been promoted to a higher place we indicate the position that hasan is understood to have moved from with the gap so it has moved from the gap place to understand why a language would need to indicate this promotion of some part of the sentence think about the difference in meaning between hasan sent the letter and hasan was sent the letter one is active and other is passive so in passive the object gets promotion so to show that the object has got promotion a certain word was used in a certain language here is another construction involving promotion and demotion the passive in english and japanese so the woman and boys with crates converge on the boards and their catch was counted out by the market boss right his normal work was filing girls teeth to points although pointed gnashers were considered a bit old fashioned by the girls here these are two passive constructions we can see that uh, uh, these are was counted and were considered right so the market boss counted these are the uh, counted out their catch this is the active of the, the uh, of the one and the girl here considered pointed nashers a bit old fashion this is the active of the passive of the second sentence we know that active sentences are 
more basic than the passive sentences. Children learn first active sentences and then passive sentences. Uh, two properties of the passive occur in any language which has the construction. So children generally learn this in the same way. The passive involves promotion of, a, of an object to the subject place uh, and the subject uh, position is uh, then delayed. The phrase that used to be in the subject position undergoes demotion. Demotion means that they are consigned to by phrase and, uh, and this comes outside the core uh, of the sentence. This is very important. This goes outside the core of the sentences and anything that goes outside the core of the sentence can be eliminated. So we see a lot of passive sentences in which there is no uh, by phrase, there is no agent. It is optional, entirely optional. It could be omitted. Their catch was counted out. It's extremely uh, correct sentence in English language. So compare the market boss counted out their catch. So this is active and both the subject, the market boss and the object, their catch are core element of the sentence and neither can be omitted. So in this sentence, the market boss counted out their catch. The subject and object are uh, not optional. They are very, uh, uh, very much to the core of the sentence, important to the core of the sentence. But when we change active into passive, the object, uh, the subject with the by phrase goes uh, out of the core element of the sentence and can easy, easily be uh, easily be eliminated. But when we have an uh, uh, an active sentence, we need both uh, both subject and object.